this video, I will cover chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, is a chronic and progressive lung disease that affects the airways and lungs. COPD includes a combination of chronic bronchitis, which is characterized by inflammation of the bronchi, and emphysema, which consists of damage to the tiny air sacs called alveoli. The primary cause of COPD is exposure to irritants such as cigarette smoke, air pollution, dust, and chemicals, which can change the airways and lung tissue. Genetics also plays a role, and people with the alpha-1 disease have a lower level of alpha-1 antitrypsin, which protects lung tissue. In COPD, the walls of the airways thicken and produce excess mucus, making it difficult to breathe. The reduced airflow to the lungs leads to difficulty in breathing, shortness of breath, and wheezing. As the disease progresses, the lung tissue becomes damaged, and the alveoli lose their elasticity, break apart, and form large areas that decrease the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. This leads to low levels of oxygen, hypoxemia, and high levels of carbon dioxide, hypercapnia, in the blood. Here we see a tissue slide showing how the alveoli have broken apart, forming large chambers. COPD can also cause systemic effects throughout the body, including weight loss, muscle wasting, and cardiovascular complications. The chronic inflammation is caused by the infiltration of immune cells, such as neutrophils, macrophages, T lymphocytes, and mast cells into the lung tissue. These cells release cytokines, chemokines, and other inflammatory mediators, which promote the inflammatory response. This leads to structural changes in the airways and lung tissue, such as thickening due to the accumulation of collagen and other extracellular matrix proteins. COPD also causes damage to the epithelial cells lining the airways. This damage makes it difficult for the airways to clear mucus and other debris, which can further exacerbate airway obstruction. Enlarged mucus glands in the airway produce excess mucus, which can further narrow the airways and cause coughing and sputum production. COPD develops over time. The four stages of COPD are Stage 1. Mild COPD. In this stage, there may be mild to no symptoms, and lung function is only slightly reduced. A chronic cough and sputum production may be present. Stage 2. Moderate COPD. In this stage, there is more noticeable decrease in lung function, and symptoms such as shortness of breath, wheezing, and coughing become more frequent and severe. The person may have difficulty with physical activity such as climbing stairs or walking uphill. Stage 3. Severe COPD. In this stage, lung function is significantly reduced, and the person experiences severe shortness of breath even with mild physical activity. The person may also experience fatigue, weight loss, and other systemic problems. Stage 4. Very severe COPD. In this final stage, lung function is severely impaired, and the person may experience difficulty breathing, even at rest. Flare-ups, or exacerbations of symptoms, become more frequent and severe, leading to hospitalization or emergency care. There is no cure for COPD, so the treatment aims to alleviate symptoms, improve lung function, and prevent exacerbations. Treatments include lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking, avoiding exposure to irritants and pollutants, regular exercise and maintaining a healthy weight, medications such as bronchodilators to help open airways, steroids to help decrease inflammation, and antibiotics for treating respiratory infections. Oxygen therapy for severe COPD pulmonary rehabilitation, which includes breathing exercises and education on COPD management. Surgery. In severe cases of COPD, surgical interventions such as lung volume reduction surgery and lung transplantation may be considered. I hope you have learned about COPD. Thanks for watching and see you next time.